shortcuts in Microsoft Fabric. We can use them in a lake house and access data science, but what about real-time analytics? Shortcuts in a KQL database? Oh yeah, we can do that too. Coming up next on Tales from the Field. Good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good This is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content created by the creators in the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we have our MS Tech Bits. That's where we feature a video where we've learned something working with a customer, inspired by you, the community, or working with a product group. We bring it to you to show you what we've learned. This is one of those videos right now. Let's get over to that great content. So I'm over in my Fabric workspace and I'm going to go into my KQL database. And when I went to the KQL database, I went into uh, the get new to be able to load some data. And I found something really interesting. One Lake shortcut clicked on it. And just like magic, there's my new One Lake shortcut. So I head over to the documentation and I look at One Lake shortcuts. And I want to make sure that I understand, do we have KQL shortcuts? Let's just validate this and make sure that we've got the capabilities. I scroll down and sure enough, there it is, my KQL database. Now, this has a lot of implications. This means I can load my data into my one lake, into my data warehouse, into my lake house, and then I could shortcut it in my real-time analytics um, system. Amazing. So let's test that. I'm going to go over to the College DW warehouse that I created in the last live stream that we had uh, with Bradley Shat from the Fabric Cat product group. I'm going to go to tables and then I'm going to expand DBO. I'm going to select courses. Now I'm going to load my courses table, but the concept of this, why would we do this? Well, this allows me to take that relational data I've loaded, get into my one lake KQL database where I could have real-time streaming database, I could join those sets together. As a matter of fact, it reloads my database. Here's my shortcuts. I can see there's my courses table. I can click on courses. I can say query the table, show me the top 100 records. And there it is. Immediately, I've got a query that's created showing that. So let's save this as a query set because remember, this query set can be published as a Power BI data set that we can use for reporting. And also, don't forget, I don't have to use KQL here. I can use T-SQL to be able to say, give me the top, say, 10 rows and be able to get this back. So whether I want to use KQL, whether I want to use T-SQL, I now have KQL shortcuts where I can get any of my data in one like and use the power of KQL and Cousteau to query that data in a fast and optimized manner. Really incredible stuff. So what did we learn? We have shortcuts now available to us in our KQL databases. This is massive because this gives us the capability to, without duplicating data, take our relational data and combine it in such a way that we can query it. We could produce KQL data sets, which could be used for Power BI queries. And remember, as long as we've turned on that uh, one lake accessibility for our KQL database, we can do real time streaming updates. So as we're loading data in those relational tables, as we're live streaming that data, we can combine all of that together. And we've got the power of KQL and T-SQL at our fingertips to produce this. This is massive and we're going to have a lot of fun with this. I can think of several things that are going to be a lot of fun and really cool that we're going to be able to do from a demo perspective. All right, sound off. Uh, you know where we like to keep this going, down in the comments. Uh, do you have any questions? Anything you'd like to see? We would love to hear from you. Be good to one another and take care out there. Thanks for joining us on Tales for the Field. Bye, everybody. Good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a 